Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Hi, welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we come to you from the beautiful Country Walk Farm in Yalas, St. Thomas. Join me for the program are Mrs. Novelet Tai and her daughter, Carlene Anderson. Ladies, we're happy that you're hosting us at your place. Welcome mm -hmm. here. What a beautiful farm. Tell us the secret to the success of Country Walk Farm. How did it all start? Well, it all started off as a hobby. Really? I've always loved farming. Yes. And uh, as it is now, we own 45 acres. Yes. When I first heard about this farm, I heard about the abundance of grape that was growing yes. here. What we do have now is the what we call the local. Right. Mm -hmm. It's black diamond. Yes. Because the others that were foreign grapes they did not very, do very, very well. well. Mm -hmm. As it is now, we grow lots of cantaloupes, yes. governor's plum. And those are mm, sugary sweet. <laughs> eh? I really like them. We have, this is the local grape. Yes. We don't have any of the foreign grapes. Yeah. We have tomatoes. Yes. We have the regular eggplant. Yes. Then we have the Chinese eggplant. Right. We have East Indian mangoes. Bombay mangoes. And we have Bombay. Yes. And uh, the, um, the Chinese, now we grow lots of Chinese vegetables. Yes. Um, papa. That is really a good papa. Yes. yes we had some. Pumpkin. Yes. Um, sour sops. Yes. Um, sweet sop. The, and pineapple melon, which is very sweet. Very sweet, yes. And of course, regular breadfruit. Yes. Honeydew. Yes. Uh, I hear you also have fish on the farm, is it, Mrs. Oh, yes, we have tilapia yes. on the small um, side of the farm. So you mean I could go out there and do my fish? Oh, yes, you go. can. I hear you are the chef in the family, Carly. <laughs> yes. yes, I am, and we're so, proud of that to be, too. I mean, we have to be proud of that, <laughs> Carly. Tell us about some of the dishes that you do from time to time. I hear you make a lovely pumpkin pie. Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup, soup also, it is. Too. Yes. And, um, well, we make um, eggplant lasagna. Okay, like you're going to be showing. But I'll be showing uh -huh. with the fish. We're going to be doing some fish tilapia mm -hmm. in, in sushi um, form. Yes. We are making tilapia uramaki. First of all, we're going to start out by steaming the rice with extra water to make it a bit sticky. This is the nori. This is made of compressed seaweed. Try to press it down evenly and try to let it go to all of the edges. Okay, that's good enough now. A little sesame seed, just for decoration. Now we're gonna turn it over and then we have the tilapia, which with a little um, red coloring, food coloring. So I'm going to place it now on the center edge of the nori. So here we go. Try to keep it in a as even thickness as best you can. And then I'm going to put some fresh stems of scallion on the side that is closest to you. Now I'm going to do the rolling. That is what is going to make it the name Yuramaki. Roll and press. Try to keep it as firm as you can. Firm. Okay, that's the end of that. Now it's important to cut up the uramaki with a wet knife or a wet and a sharp wet knife. And here you can look, you can see what it looks like before I finish slicing. And now for presentation. A plate like this needs no other decoration. Hi, Carlene. Hi, Maisie. That is so 
pretty. It is pretty. There's it's something about ja Japanese cuisine. But they always use, seem to use rice. In yes. Use, use a lot of rice. They use a lot of rice and a lot of fish. Why did you use plastic on the... On, oh, on the... Um, I use a sarang wrap on it to keep it clean. Yes. So every time we use it, you can just um, okay. discard it. But it's about the rolling itself. You have to keep it compact. Eh? Yes, you have to keep it mm -hmm. compact. And that's why it's... In, it's important for mm. that to happen, otherwise you won't be able to slice it or even to pick it up to eat it. Right. I, I so you. it has to be tight. You have to start with a, in a tight position yeah. and keep on with a tightness going, going until you're finished. Okay. What occasion would you serve a meal like this? It is so nutritious. You can serve it for hors d'oeuvres. You can have it for main meal because it is so filling. The rice is so filling. Right. Yes, and your source of carb carbohydrate Hydrate, is right, in it right. your fish is there right, you know protein, your yeah. nuts are there but yes. from the mm -hmm. it's Coming a good meal seed. it's a good right. meal to just have Carlene has prepared an exotic dish for us today and this dish uses eggplant now Carlene before we go into the dish I wanted to show our viewers what the inside of an eggplant look like Okay, sometimes you will find a lot of seeds. Oh, this yeah. is a beautiful one. Right. This has no seeds. And we're saying this that is we easy. should harvest them at this stage when they are tender. Harvest them at this stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you have a lot of seeds, now that's where the problem comes in with the bitterness. Jamaicans don't like that. How we, can we prevent the bitterness? The bitterness can be, be prevented by soaking it in, into some salted water yes. for about an hour, which mm -hmm. we did with ours right. because it's an easier um, tasting. And this all helps develop the flavor. It, it helps to bring out the flavor. Let's go back to the dish now. Um, okay, the dish is um, um, started out sliced in, in um, at okay. least a quarter inch thick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Put in the salted water mm -hmm. for an hour. Yeah. Then wash off the salted water. Then you then you would now start to bread it, um, fry it in a little bit. After that is done. Then you'll get your casserole dish and you'll start layering it in layers as how you see me have it here. But before you go to the layers, Connie, <laughs> what did you use? Um, breadcrumbs or flour? Breadcrumbs. Okay, breadcrumbs. Fine. Okay, so let's go back to the layers now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, so you start the casserole dish, mm. some, to, some tomato paste. Okay. And then layer of breadcrumbs yes. and uh, of um, breaded um, eggplant. Yes. I sprinkle a little cheese if you want to. Not a must, right? Right, it's not a must. Mm -hmm. And you keep on layering, layering, layering. But all the time you keep on pressing down again mm -hmm. to keep it firm. So you have Impact, a, a yes. right, you have a good slicing when you when you when you cut it there. And here you can see the layers. Yes, different. Actual layers, layers mm -hmm. there. And you have to some cheese. And then I'll sprinkle a little cheese, optional again. And here is the dish for you. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Carlene and Mrs. Ty for joining us on our program today. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Hope you are looking forward to our next show. Till next time, thanks for watching. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 735 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, it's morning time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 735 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it.